little off. Why does it seem like it's leaning? Cause it is, Louise, but I don't know how to fix the lean. Mm -hmm. So, so sorry. Um, seems like it's a little off. Doesn't it feel like I'm like here? Okay. Well, anyway, I am live this morning because uh, I decided to go, if I was gonna do Christmas Eve, I needed to do it now. Cause I know we all got shit to do this evening. We all got shit to do this evening. So I decided to go live now because I had needed to get something done. And I said, why not share it with my YouTube people? With my YouTube people, right? So, um, what I'm doing is I need to go through all the stuff I bought for everybody for Christmas and separate it. Because B wants to, hi, Maya! Merry Christmas Eve! Because B wants to come over here and do her wrapping together over here. And I gotta move her stuff, cause she being nosy. So I'm gonna show y'all the gifts that I bought for everybody. I did good, and I, I, I you know, here and there I bought a few more things, but I've been doing good on this whole thing. Why does it feel like there's some static? I am on my old phone, my eight, because I can't find my phone. My phone is missing, y'all. Don't you hate when you missing, you misplace your phone and your damn phone's on silent so it ain't like you can call the bitch and then get it? You can't. That's what I get for always keeping my damn phone on silent, right? That's what I get for keeping my phone on silent. So now I'm sitting here and I can't, you know, I don't know where the fuck my phone is. And this damn thing is stuttering. Or am I going crazy? Because somebody could, you, if somebody here, can you tell me, do you see a stutter? Because I see a stutter. Somebody send me something in chat so I can see. Because I keep seeing, yeah, a stutter. This is because I'm not on my regular fucking phone. <laughs> this is problematic. This is like old school. This is the shit that used to happen when I used to use this fucking phone. It looks good to you? Okay, cool. It's just something I'm seeing. Okay, cool. So let's get started. I got a lot of stuff for the kids because I've decided like with my grandkids because their birthdays are so close because Bakari's birthday is next month and then Brooklyn is supposed to be in February. I'm so, birthdays fuck me up y'all because like now I got Bakari in January, Bianca, Brandon, and Brooklyn in February and DJ in March. Hey, Valencia, but I guess I had the rest of the year to myself. But yeah, I'm loaded up on the fam fam birthdays. You know, my my real my close family birthdays. The rest of these motherfuckers, you know, whatever. But kids, grandkids, yeah, you gotta take care of them. So I decided that for Christmas, it'll always hey Rose, it'll always be clothes for Christmas for the babies, and then. You know toys and educational things books hi latoya hi and michelle thank you for coming welcome so i'm gonna show y'all all the gifts that i got for the fam because i gotta move some of this stuff i gotta move, move separate her stuff bianca's before we come if i i think the lighting is fine if not i can always add it and like just let me know so let me just start separating because i threw all this shit in my closet it's been in the bags some of the stuff I ain't even really looked at. So we're going to look at it together because I bought stuff from like Macy's, Nordstrom Rack, all kind of places. And I just kind of threw it all here. So let's see. First things first. Look at this cute little Timberland outfit for him. Look at this Timberland outfit for him. So of course, this is for Bakari. Um, yeah, because he got Timberlands. So I had to get him so I had to get him a Timberland outfit. So uh, Brandon had just got him some Timberlands. So I got him a little Timberland outfit to go with it. Because, you know, he got to be stylish like that. Gots to have his drip like that. Gots to have the drip. Okay, so let me see. This is like a small bag of stuff. Um, then I saw these. I was out. You know how you going in the store and they have that aisle? You know, when you're waiting in, uh, when you're waiting to check out? And the aisle of doom. The aisle of doom. You know that aisle that they put everything in? That little shit that you would never think to get, but now you need because you're standing here waiting in line. So, look. So I got these for my love, for little Brookie. So I got these, cause you can never have enough 
you can never have enough bibs. You can never have enough little socks and stuff. Hi, Kim. Mario and to right. Oh, Jesus. Wait, Mario, you need to stay here because G-Sun is so drippy. He, he, he's drippy, honey. They both drippy. Wait till you see all the shit out of her. Then I got her these. Because you can't have enough hats. You got to have the little mittens. You got to have the little mittens, man. You got to have the mittens. So I got her back from there. Okay, so this bag got a lot of stuff for like B. That's why I got to get through it. Move her stuff. So when she comes over, it's gone. Okay, so this is her. She knows she's getting this. She got this. This is this Juvia's Place set. It's an eyeshadow and loose highlighter. Um, here, okay. Then I got her makeup brushes. So I got her a set of refer because they were on sale. And it came with the gentle brush soap. So she's got brush soap. So she got a set of... Now let me tell y'all. Okay, so let me tell y'all how this works in my family. So y'all be like, damn, you bought a lot of stuff. I'm not paying for all of this. Um, this is from me and DJ because DJ don't buy gifts, right? Isn't she? Uh, um, she's he doesn't buy gifts, so he just gives money. So you know, I just tell him this is how much we spent, and then he gives me the, his half on it, and then I buy the gift for DJ from all of us. This year we haven't bought him a lot, but he's about to turn thirty, so we got to do him up good on his birthday. But DJ's a hard person to buy for because he, he's like real simple. My son is super simple. He just, you know, he, he ain't, you know, he wears nice shoes or whatever, but he has what he likes. He buys it. You know, um, he's not, like we bought him a really nice watch. Negro never wore the watch. We said we never buy his ass a watch again. <laughs> when he turned 12. Oh, this cat is on my dick. Girl, you are crazy. Hold on. She like, bitch. You better let me in. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Sorry, y'all. Juicy has a thing about she does not like to use the litter box. She's a straight. She likes to go outside and use the bathroom. <coughs> but she comes right back. And so I, apparently she was sitting out there and it was a little cold. So, and then I got another brush. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the A23. This is my one of my favorite highlighting brushes. They were ten dollars, so I bought me. So I bought three, two for me, one for her. So that goes into her box. Now the thing is, I also bought B stuff for her stocking. Okay, okay, you might be right, Mario, because we bought him a really nice. That we ain't never seen. So, um, and then what I did was I bought stuff for her stocking because I didn't know what her husband was doing. And he be all like secret squirrel and shit. So I wanted to make sure she had a nice stocking because we all doing stockings. You know, so I did that. So that's hers. I got her some, um... So DJ tells everybody, I get the best gifts because me and, you know. So lip gloss. I got lip gloss for her, some Pat McGrath, because this was on sale for $14. So I got her like three, three or four. Three, I guess. Uh, then I got her this Juvia's Place. She wanted this, which is the, I'm telling you, she really racked up this year. See, that's what happened when you're pregnant, though, because I was like, oh, my baby pregnant, and she's been having headaches. So I wanted her to, you know, have like a really just girly girl Christmas. You know, the husband ain't going to do all this. Okay, then I got her the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, because this thing was on clearance for $20, $19.60. So it was like, so all the deal, all this stuff has been deals. Um, and she wanted this Huda, she wanted this. Which is Juvia's Place Blush Palette. So I got her, got her that. Um, what is this? Oh, her lash tool. Because I got her some lashes. So I got her lash tool. Okay, so now we're going on to some other people's stuff. So we got some more people's stuff in this one. Okay. So, look at these, y'all. These are coming from her uncle. Look at these, cause you know, DJ was a basketball player in college. So I found these, it says bowls and basketball. 
I'm going to tell, I got to send him a picture and say, you know, this is what you bought for your, your niece. This is specifically from you to your niece. <laughs> he going to be like, man, I'm good. My, bro, my son is so ignorant. And bought her some towels because, you know, you got you got to have the hooded towels, you know. And because now it's a girl and we got a boy, you got to have the girly stuff to go with the girl and the boy stuff to go with the boy. Um, and this is her biggest gift. This is for B. This is Josie Marin right here. This is an eight ounce of argan oil and 20 ounce whipped argan body butter duo. This was a really good price. So I picked this up. So I picked this up for her. Well, I picked up one for me. I bought two. And so I said, well, let me give her one because, you know, I didn't need to. Well, actually, I had this on subscription, so I'll get this one. Because this is unscented, so this is an unscented one. The one I have has, like, called Champagne Citrus. So I still want an unscented one, so I have one coming in a few months at this price. But this big thing, this is 20 ounces of body butter and 8 ounces of argan oil was $80. Right? Exactly. And Marcia, so this was $80. This... And you should see the body butter thing. This is some shit you see in the spot. It's, it's one that size. It's like spa size. Um, oh, and I bought her a blush, a Lancome blush. I think this is all her stuff right here. It really does. It melts into your skin. Whew. Now, and then I got this. But this is just... We have one for Bakari, so I got her one. I got the letter board for her for when she's born. This thing was $8, so I was just like, let me just grab this thing. Yes, it's so luxurious. So this is hers right here. So this is for her when she's born. So we, she has her own letter board. Like, we couldn't reuse Bakari's. That's the funny part. It's like, we couldn't reuse Bakari's, right? She had to have her own letter board. All right. Uh, okay. So now I got other people's gifts. Let me take these out because she can see the rest of this stuff. This stuff has to go in this bag because I got to put this bag away because I don't want her to see everything she got because she thinks she knows everything I got her. She does not. I'm just here to say that. She does not. The only thing I didn't get her, but there was some. Okay, so I got that. Yes, yeah, she, she did good. Okay, so there we got that. So that's all B. So B, I got a couple, I got some lashes for I'll show you all in a minute. Okay, next up, the fellas. This one's from Brandon because he likes Burt's Bees lip balms. I should have bought another one for DJ. I'm probably going to be right around the altar where I got this. Either that or I'm buying him the Jack Black lip balms because you 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 can't you gotta have lip balm you know what i'm saying and men you know don't be walking around with crusty lips y'all do not be walking around with crusty ass lips nobody wants to be around a crusty ass lip man so this one's for him um okay so now here's what i did where's the other one oh i was gonna say okay so i got them fragrance for Christmas, right? So for Brandon, he's getting this. He's getting this one. This is from Zaharoff. Um, this is Business Over Pleasure. Um, and I smelled this. Um, uh, D'Angelo sent me some to, to smell. So this smells good. So I'm giving this to him. Um, DJ is getting Ovation for Men. Well, here it is. Ovation for men. So he's getting that. Now, let me tell you what's about to happen. And this is terrible. So I found these Banana Republics. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get these to them. And this is Neroli Woods. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, Neroli Woods and Vintage Green. 70, 78 Vintage Green. Okay. Now, y'all, for the people who don't, you know I like Banana Republic. The Icon Collection. I didn't have these. So I made an executive decision. They're not getting these. These are mine. <laughs> these are mine. That's my uh, washing machine. Don't worry, my house ain't about to explode. Y'all gonna talk shit about me now. 
So what I'm giving them is, see what I'm saying? I don't have these and I want to do the whole collection because I have what? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have four. Dark Cherry and Amber. Okay, let me think about it. I got Dark Cherry and Amber, Tobacco and Tonka Bean, um, Gardenia and Cardamom. Um, <laughs> I know it's not terrible. Um, and um, Peony and Peppercorn. I have those in full size. And then I have Black Platinum and Leather Reserve, small ones, because uh, D'Angelo sent those to me. And then I, so this is eight of them. So I need to do the collection, right? Hey, Pam, right? So. If, if I, if, hey, D'Angelo, so if I decide that I don't like them, I'll give them to them another time. They'll still, ultimately, they will still get them, right? I'm also giving them some candles, especially, um, uh, oh, I need to light me a candle. Wait a minute, why am I saying that? Oh, I was going to light this candle, see how it smells. Um, I was going to, uh, I, you did, D'Angelo, you heard me talking about you. So, um. Because I'm talking about the fragrances that I bought for the for the men. Ooh, this damn thing smells so good. I should have bought more of these. This is this Honeycrisp Apple Candle from Trader Joe's. We need to light this so we can see how it smells, child. It's just like, I, I opened up. It's like, oh my God, this is so good. I will show y'all. Hey, Marilyn. I will show y'all my uh, Christmas pants because I got my Christmas leggings on. I got my Christmas leggings on. Today. All right, let me light up this candle and put it away from me. Let me light the candle. Now this is, I'm about to say this, because I always struggle with this one. But this is my dollar store uh, lighter. Let me take this over here so it's away from the fan. Oh, do this thing. Okay, there we go. There we go, and there we go, and there we go. All right, so now we are deep into kid land so we're gonna so i got all this kid stuff so i'm gonna show you all this stuff i got oh oh so then because of this okay so since i'm keeping these two i had to think of what i was gonna get ouch so i have black incense malachi i think i'm gonna get, this is my show card i'm gonna give this to um dj because i bought it i can't wear it <laughs> but this i got a good deal on it so this is gonna be part of his gift. I oh, and I got some more stuff for them too. But I'll show y'all the rest of stuff for them too. And then I'm giving um, Brandon. Oh, you did! Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, Blanca, do you think? Good, yeah. I, I be feeling. Let me tell y'all something. We, I'm gonna do a whole video on that because I really. We're doing these things and I talk about things and then people say I bought it because of you said you know And I'll be like, oh, don't buy it because of me Don't buy it because of me because what if you don't like it and then you can blame it on me Okay, I get all of my fans. But anyway, Serge Luton's Gris Claire That's what I'm giving Brandon and the reason why I'm giving this one to Brandon is because it's kind of got this kind of Le Labo vibe to it. You know, Serge Luton is Le Labo before Le Labo and so I'm getting him this because I, I, I know he'll kind of vibe with it. So he's getting the business over pleasure and the Gris Claire and he's getting, and DJ's getting the ovation for men and the show part black incense Malachi. So those are the fragrances they're getting from me. Yes, yeah, so I got to go get DJ some lip balm today before because I got to go to my box in a little bit anyway. As soon as I'm off of here, I got to run to my box and pick up the last packages. So now this right here, I don't even remember what I bought y'all. This is for the kids. I know I bought some stuff. I have no idea what's in here. So let's see what I got. 
I bought these a while ago. <laughs> we got the M&Ms in here. I am just, I am tickled pink. Okay, so let me see what I bought from Macy's. So here's the stuff I got from Macy's for the kids. Mario, drip income, incoming drip. The drip is incoming. Just, you know, the drip is incoming right now. Oh, let me finish this. I'll do this part first before I get into the drip because I got a lot, I got a lot going on. I got girly girl stuff. I got the boy stuff. So the other stuff I bought for the fellas is I bought Bath and Body Works. I wish I had bought some more now. Hi, Chantel. Chantel, thank you so much. Girl, we're going to have to talk about that thing you bought me. Okay, this is Whiskey Reserve. This is um, a body wash and the lotion. Um, like I said, the shit they be saying to men, we talked about this. So this one has crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. I think I'm giving this one to um, Brandon. Because he has bond number nine, um, which one did I have? What the fuck one is that one? It's the one that looks like note, has notes on it. I can't, I can't remember the name of it because I have it too, but it's it's a, a um it's a, a, a you know a boozy one so this will go good layer that with it and then I'm giving DJ Noir which is black cardamom smoky vanilla and a hint of musk so I'm giving this one to DJ so he's getting that and then here's B's um so this is B's lashes so she's getting lashes too she, these are the lower lashes i found at hi shonda i found at um marshall's so i got her some lashes so these are hers so that goes in her bag so their stuff goes over here so i can put this all together so i know where everybody's stuff is um so i got to all that and then we're gonna open up my fragrances at the end because merry christmas to me since I decided to keep them for myself. So this is theirs. So this is the, that's the fellas box over there. Now let's get into the kids. So for the ones who came late, the first piece of drip that Bakari got is this. It's his Timberland outfit. Okay, to go with his Tims. Because he got some Tims, right? So you gotta have. I know, I know. That's why I'm gonna be doing this all day. Some of this shit going in big boxes though. Okay, so let me see what I got here. Cause I gotta remember what I bought. I'm telling you, I don't remember what I bought. Hey, okay, so um, then I got this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be good cause it's Christmas Eve. I'm not gonna talk shit about nobody cause it's Christmas Eve. Now talks will be on New Year's Eve. Now we're gonna talk, we're gonna do gratitude on New Year's Eve. But the day before New Year's Eve, just know I might be talking shit about motherfuckers. Cause you know, we we should have we we should have Festivus. We should have done Festivus for the rest of us and talk shit. Matter of fact, we are gonna do a, a related Festivus. That's what we gonna do one day. A live Festivus. We are gonna do a happy Festivus, and we gonna talk. We gonna air the grievances out. We gonna have an airing of the grievances. Social media airing of the grievances. Everybody come with your grievances and talk shit. The things that irritate you on, on social. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good one, y'all. Come with you, come prepared. Okay, so here's his Adidas outfit. So I got him this Adidas outfit. I'm still looking for the right proper Adidas t-shirt to go with this. So I'm gonna have to run into a store and see can I find an Adidas t-shirt today. Hi, Crystal. So, hey, hi, Shantan girl. So we got this. Did I put on some lotion? My hands feel dry. Let me drink my water. So I got that. I bought this stuff back in November, the beginning of November. I have no idea what this is. I never opened it. I just threw it in the back of the closet. Okay, so what is this? Oh, I was buying him up. I, okay, that might not happen. Well, because I'm going to go in Hyde Park. And Hyde Park, the stores ain't going to be that busy. I've done it before. Um, so I got him some pajamas because he needed new pajamas. So I got him a bunch of pajamas. I already gave him one. 
Oh, oh, Maya, you know, okay, I will, there will be pictures, and I will make sure, because I'm not done with the Adidas yet, and then, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to call her, because it, I can't call her G-Daughter, that's long, like, G-Son is easy and quick, you know, okay, so this is what I opened up, okay, and then he got some more, I got him a bunch of, uh, yeah, I bought him a bunch of, because B said he needed, um, pajamas if these ain't some old men pajamas though i love a good plaid you know like plaid pajamas that's the shit oh and then i got him this t-shirt because he is all the motherfucking time my g son so that's his and then these are some more pajamas because they had really good sale on pajamas. Because remember, uh, Black Friday started right after Halloween, didn't it? It was like, well, shit. I'm Gigi. I'm his Gigi. Okay, so yeah, I bought a bunch. Okay, so that's what I got him out of here. Okay, so I got a bunch of uh, pajamas. Because as she said, he really needed some pajamas. Oh, look at these. These are so cute. Because they have really good deals. Macy's be killing on the sales. See, places like that should never have, you know, having sales like that means I never want to pay full price. You know, I, I never, hi, Layla. So, I got him this one. Because they had sets where it was like, you know, two sets for like $12. So, I got him these. So, he has enough um, pajamas to wear for a while. Because, I mean, real talk, it's winter time. He ain't going that many places. Even though he has a thing about going places now, because he will go get his shoes like, let's roll. He comes, he'll come over to you with the shoes like, come on, let's roll out. Let's roll out. <laughs> and so then this place. And then I got this one for him. So I got these. Because the challenge for me, and honestly, the challenge with buying boys clothes of his size is them goofy ass clothes they have for boys. We was looking at some shit and I was like, ain't no way I'm putting my, my this, the goofiest shit they put on for for boys. You know, he cannot wear that. No, thank you. No, no, no. You know, because it'll be some goofy ass like bear on it or some shit. You know, the girl stuff is all cute and girly and then you get the boy stuff and it's like, you know, barely there. You be like, what is this bullshit? Huh. Okay, so then I hit up Nordstrom Rack. You know, just be looking goofy as fuck. I'm like, what? You know what? See? Ah. Uh, Okay, so let me show y'all what I got. I'm trying to see what, because I got, this one has stuff for both of them. So, I got him this Nike t-shirt, and because he got a Nike outfit, so he needed some Nike t-shirts. And I could not find the Adidas t-shirts. They're killing, they killing me, y'all. They're killing me. They're killing me. Um, okay. And then I got him these. Y'all ready, Maya Mario? Ready? I got him. He had to get some Adidas to go with the Adidas outfit, so I had to get his Adidas to go with the Adidas outfit. So I got him some white ones. He needs some bands now. I gotta get him. Gotta get him some bands. So I got him a new pair of Adidas. So I think that's all his clothes. Man, he needs some more stuff. You know, I had to get him. I mean, no, without a doubt, he had to have those, right? Um, so I think that's everything I got for him. Yeah, I think that's all his clothes. Because I'm still, because um, because B got him a um, Nike outfit. And he has new Nikes. So that's why I got him the Nike t-shirt. Uh, so let me see what else is in this bag. Because I don't know what the fuck's in this bag. This got some stuff for Brooklyn in it, too. Because... Um, this, that's when I said, oh, shit, I need to buy her a few things. So, got her this. Look at this little, look at this little onesie. 
Look at this little onesie, y'all, with the little ruffle. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that onesie, y'all. Look at that onesie. So we got that. Nordstrom Rack is a good spot, too, to find stuff, especially online. They Their online section for the kids is popping. Their online section for the kids is popping. Okay. And then I got her this little outfit. This is a Jessica Simpson. Ain't this cute? I bought this in the three to six months for the spring. Because you got to have a headband to go with it, too. You got to have a headband. I got to go get her some more headbands. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I got her this. And then... Let me see what's in this thing. I think I spent like for everything I'm about to show y'all, including shoes. I think I spent like $120 for all the stuff from Nordstrom Rack. It was about $120. Okay, she gotta have her Nike outfit too. I gotta get her Nike shoes. I gotta get her a little Nike ones. It's got the footy on it too. But see, it's a little Nike outfit. Yes, Jessica Simpson has the cutest little shoes. And then I got her this. Hell yeah, because I ain't listen. I ain't got that much. I ain't got it like that. I started buying early because I was like, listen, I need shit sh shipped to me. Okay, and then I got her this. This is a Nicole Miller little outfit. I got to go and order their matching outfit because I have a cute little matching outfit with him with a t-shirt and her with a little little outfit. Um, I forgot to order that, so I got to order that. So this is... Right? Exactly. So that's Nicole Miller. Yeah. See, so that's Nicole Miller. Like I said, this shit has been sitting here for over a month. I have not looked at it. Yeah, it's all been sitting here. Um, I'm trying to throw away stuff. Then I got, I thought I got him some more shirts. Did I miss something? See, I should have looked in this bag. I thought I had got him another t-shirt, y'all. Maybe I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, because I'm like, I thought I had two t-shirts in here for him. Because I got him two t-shirts. Because they didn't have a whole lot for him that I wanted. And his Adidas. Hi, shine, bright glow. I've never seen you. Um... I'm going to put his stuff in a bag, in a, in a boxes. So I'm gonna give him some cute little boxes. Her stuff I'm just putting in a bag because that's for them to look at, you know, cause they haven't seen all this stuff. Like B doesn't know I bought all this stuff for her. She just knows I've bought things. She just, I've never shown her what she's got. So she doesn't know about this. Uh, girl, you better get on there. You better get on there. And so then I got, so this is his, this is Bakari's. Cause I got a thing for like athletic shit. For him. You know, I love a good t-shirt. I love graphic tees for him. That are, that are cute. So I got him this. Because these will go with his black Nike outfit. See how I thought that through? See, I'm, I'm working on, what's that? Oh, and then Brandon got him some clothes too. He got him some stuff from the Gap. And then I got her this. Good morning. What was that? Most, most, how are you? I got her, you gotta have some, you gotta have some Disney in the house. You got to have some Disney for the babies. The babies got to have some Disney. I think I bought everything in like, well, this is zero to three months. So yeah, this has got some size on. And then I got this. I told y'all I lost my mind in it. Are you new? I'm, I don't think I've ever seen you before. If so, welcome. If not, where you been? Y'all have got to find my phone. I don't know what the fuck I did. This is not my phone. This is my old phone. I don't know where my phone is right now. This is bad. Oh, man. Okay, and then I saw this for the summertime. 
<laughs> right, that yeah, it, the it's the pickings is slim for the boys, but they got but the problem is it's like this is another Jessica Simpson outfit. Now wait for this one, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, oh don't lose your mind when you see this one. Don't lose your mind when you see this one. Don't cry. Don't go all too much. Okay, go ahead and give me the Oz. You know. And then, okay, so now that was where I was supposed to stop. I felt like, okay, I got the kids together. You know, I'm good, I'm good, right? Then B had us go to this place called Bye Bye Baby. I think it's part of Bath and Body Work, Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond, that's what she said. It's part of Bed Bath and Beyond. And um, because they were going out of, they were going out of business. So we didn't, we only got there at the very last thing because we went last week and they were closing up on the 19th. Man, I got all my nails down because my, I told y'all my um, baby girl, she's got COVID. My um, nail tech got COVID. So I got to uh, soak these babies off because I can't see it till January. She tested positive Sunday. Okay, so then we went to Bye Bye Baby. Everything was 80 to 90% off when we went in there, right? But by that time, of course, it was picked over because they were literally closing in like three, two or three days when we went. So I couldn't find anything really for Kari because it was all picked over. Um, but I found all this stuff for, for Brooklyn. And I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. This cost this bag cost me $35. $35. I think this is everything. It might it might be some stuff that's not in here. Oh damn, I, I grabbed the wrong one. This ain't my bag. This is a she bar. Yeah, this ain't my bag. Give me a second. I'm gonna go run across the hallway and I'm gonna uh, hey Helen. I'm gonna uh show y'all what I actually bought because she that's her bag her bag ain't as good as my bag my bag is bussing my bag is bussing my bag is bussing her bag I her bag I but let me show y'all what I got Okay, so here's my bag for Bye Bye Baby. Because, you know, 
them, uh, you have to go to Macy's and shit to get real, really good stuff for the kid, for the boys. Because I can't stand them damn Garanimal looking shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything looks like fucking Garanimals for boys. So you gotta spend real money on boy clothes. And, I, and it ain't changed, you know, because it used to be like that when DJ was young. Cause that should be looking like a ramble. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got her. I think all my stuff is in here. Yeah, all my stuff is in here. So, um, got this cause you can never have enough size, you can never have enough headbands. You know, I told B, I said, we got to get her her, her headband, th headband and um, barrette things get together. Okay, see so y'all ready for this one? Don't lose your mind. Look at this onesie. This is a, the pull together. Baby, okay. But you can always find some good deals on girls, on women's clothes though. Okay. It, it's, it's the onesie for me. Because she can just go out in this and she's going to be styling. Speaking of style, kids. Let me just tell y'all what I saw. The other, what was this, Monday? Disregard my washing machine. This spin is terrible. Um, so we're at the hospital because you know B had to go in. I don't know. I didn't tell you on Monday B had to go in for a little bit because her pressure was up, her headaches, and all this stuff. So we wound up in triage again. So we're going up to triage, and there's this woman bringing in her child. Now, mind you, I want to say it's in the 30s. It was in the 30s. Like today, it's like 40s, 50s. But it was in the 30s yesterday, okay? And, I mean, on Monday. Yeah, it was about 30 degrees, 35, whatever. She brings in this child. No, Dinah, I, I don't want to hear those numbers. Um, with no shoes on, just some socks on his feet, and didn't even have a coat on him. Now, I'm going to assume that... I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt. I'm going to say, well, maybe they, um, you, of course. Hi, Justin. Of course. Baby ain't got no coat on, nothing. But she got a little fleece on. Baby ain't got a fleece on. Baby ain't got a fleece on at all. Baby just in, you know, clothes and, 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 and socks. Clothes and socks. Okay, so here's oh, there's it closely. So and then I got her these. Look at this little nautica outfit with the little. Come on now. Oh, I was so irritated. I'm looking at her and she's like, "Oh, you little cold, you're shivery." Of course, the child is shivering. The the child is probably on the, on the verge of hypothermia. Now I'm assuming that the that they were in the car. It was heat the car, but there is going. I'm going to hope that she was valeting her car so that the baby, she didn't walk across from the parking garage. I'm going to, I'm going to hope all those things. Well, Jessica, you need to go to the doctor. You need to be off of it. You shouldn't be on social media. You should be on your way. Honey, trust me, the cold is overrated. Trust and believe this. Now, I like hot weather. I, I'm okay with the hot weather. Now, I know some people are like, oh, it's too hot. I don't mind hot weather because I'm anemic. I'm cold anyway. Now, here we go. Another little Jessica Simpson little outfit. Just, I, I, Jessica Jessica, come with the outfit. Jessica make her money. Let's be real. Let's just talk about it. Her father set her up for freaking life. Now, I don't know how much she making. Yeah. I mean, because you can always cover the baby or whatever. But yeah, the poor child, just cold. Just cold as hell. Hecky, yeah, thank you. See, Nikki, thank you. Because when you, you know what, so let me just tell y'all. Um, 
when you start hitting, see, because y'all don't understand what cold is. Y'all have these little cold snaps, and y'all think y'all cold. Oh, my God, it's so cold. It's so cold. You talk to me when it hits zero, when it hits minus five with a wind chill of minus 20. Then you understand. Then you will understand the cold. You will understand the cold. And then say, this shit is overrated. See, y'all think cold Y'all think y'all kind of cold. Oh, I would love to be in here. It's like it got to 30. It wasn't that bad. You know, 30. It's a little little nippy. It's a little snap in the air. No, you know, it ain't snapping when your at when when it's so cold that wind hits you, your eyes are cold. Your, your eyes want to water from the wind chill factor. See, y'all don't understand what a wind chill factor is. When you learn what a wind chill factor is, you will say the cold is fucking overrated. The cold is fucking overrated. Okay, gotta get some hats. Hats, hats, hats. Hats, hats, hats. See what I'm saying? I need to get the fuck away from this cold. I just need the South to pay better, teach, to have better teacher salaries. Because honestly, talk, real talk, I'm looking around and I'm like, fuck, I might have to stay here and just travel. Because what I, the amount that I can make here as a teacher is a lot more. And the cost of living ain't that much different because everybody act like the south is so much better y'all ain't that better now the, the cost of living hi diana you know the pay is terrible and the cost of living ain't that much different you know because the cost of living in the, it has gone up everywhere so so it's not like i can go down there and find a place at a decent price this costs me the same amount i pay here so i might as well stay my black ass here and make the money and then you know say okay well i'm gonna retire when I, when i retire i'm going south because honestly i looked at pay structures right now and if i leave like if i left and came south in three years like like 20 like 2024 two yeah almost three years right I would make less than what I make now with more experience. So, yeah, um, I had to think about that. I'm like, yeah, I want to move. I want to get away from here. But if I can't, but if it makes, doesn't make sense. Right. And that's what I'm saying. I'm looking, the prices are no different than what we pay here. So if I can make, 15 to 20,000 more because I would be making with my experience leaving here and going there I would probably be making hmm, close to 15,000 less at least 12,000 less than I would be making here I can't for hell fucking no mm -mm. and it's ridiculous you know, I love teaching and I love my, you know, the time off and all that stuff. But you got to teaching, you know, at some point it has to be some we have to be paid what we what we deserve. Teachers deserve to make more. We create education for children. You know, we we teach the young. We so we are the part of the backbone of society is teaching and we can't get paid i mean i get that you know celebrities and i think personally fucking people who make that kind of money should, should just contribute to fucking education listen just contribute you know because y'all can get y'all can have a a million dollar party send that fucking money to a school system do that you know adopt schools Adopt a fucking school. Adopt a district. You know, do things like that. There's enough money in this country that teachers should not be going without. And without teachers, what are we going to do with all these kids? Okay, so now look at this one. I mean, you gotta work forever to make some money, and it, and you and the stress levels involved with teaching. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, honey. The weather, the weather here. All right, Valencia. Now and look at this. Now I'm showing all the stuff that I'm showing y'all right now cost me thirty five dollars in total. 
Look at these onesies, child. She is, her onesie game is on. Her onesie game is tight. Her onesie game is tight. Yeah. Okay. And then I grabbed, I thought I had some more. I thought I had grabbed some more. Huh, I guess I didn't. 35 in total because this place is going out of business. So then I got her this. Then I got her this. You know, because, you know, on them cool days that we hanging out, she got to have, you know, she put on her little terry cloth. Terry cloth. Only a little kid could wear terry. Remember when terry cloth was in? Oh, I do too. Babies are so fun. And then I found her these little shoes. They, they look kind of big, but, you know, these were the zero to three months, right? I got the one. Yeah, three. No, I got the three to six months for the summertime. Hey, who's who? And then I got these for her. These little sandals. I don't know if she's going to be able to fit them, but it was like, listen, let me tell you how much these sandals were. These sandals were $1.80 because they were 80% off. They was 80% off. So these were $1.80. And these were like $1.82, I think. The, the tag came off of these. I know these were like $2.00. And then I got her some hair stuff. So they had a, I got some. I didn't get as much as I could have. But these were like. So I got her these. And then I got her these. So now I'm on a quest for baby headbands. Some more. So I got to do. We got to do inventory. I told B. I said you got to start doing inventory girl. You got two kids now. You got to start looking at what they have. And what they need. Because <laughs> I know I need to get. She's going to need some more towels. You know. Yep, yep. Right. Yeah. Then, so now that I have decided that these are mine, let's open these and see what they smell like. For the people who came in late, these were supposed to be gifts for Brandon and DJ, but I decided that they're not, that these are mine. So we're going to see what they smell like because these are the Banana Republics. And y'all know I got a thing for the Banana Republics. And then I got to get off of here and find my fucking... I have got to find my phone, y'all, so I can go. I need to run. Nope. I, no, I have... No, nah, girl, it ain't the mailbox room. That's the mailbox spot. I got to go in the car. The UPS is not close to me. I have to go to the... Uh, that's why I'm on my way right after I finish doing this. Because they close at 3 today. So I have to uh, go over there. So I have to go to my UPS box. And that's in Hyde Park. Yeah. No, that's what it is. Yeah, it's a street address. That's why I use UPS. Because they give you a street address. And plus, I... Girl, listen... You know, I love D'Angelo, but his people ain't that good. And so when I had, you know, because sometimes um, things can't be delivered to a post office box. Hi, Bashan. How are you? Bashan, you got a picture for me? Are we going to see you? I need to see all my, um, you know, mystery people. So this is Neroli Woods. Let's see how this smell. Let's see how this smells. You know, I just, you got to love presentation for $20. I see. So we're going to see what you look like. So we're going to see what you look like. I'm going to spray the box. Yeah, they got them in Burlington for $20. The Banana Republics. All right, I'm going to spray this box. Let me see. Neroli Woods. Because wait, if, it, if I don't like them, no, I'm just saying. They're going to get them for birthdays if I don't like them. Okay, this smells like Neroli Woods. Smells similar to Neroli Amara, which is what I have by Van Cleef and Art Bells. Just, you know. I know, I know. But I'll be trying them. I try to see folks. So, yeah, Neroli Woods. I'm going to see if I can find some more of them, though. 
That's how I replaced my tobacco and Tonka bean was with my Neroli wood. With a, I went over there and found that one because I needed to replace tobacco and Tonka bean because I was totally out. That's why I need to buy my fucking phone. I got a video that I'm supposed to be trying to upload. Okay. Then we have Vintage Green. 78 Vintage Green. Yeah, these are the Banana Republic ones. The Icon ones. These are $19.99 at, um, at uh, Burlington. And because they've gotten semi-popular, they're kind of expensive now on Fragrance Net. Because now they're running, because they were running in the 20s before. But now they're, ooh. Vintage Green is kind of nice. I don't know if it's for me. Um, right? Right, you got the lamb fragrances. I didn't see them, but I was running out of there because, girl, I was on some dipshit at work. So I didn't stay there long enough to really go through everything. <laughs> they were, like, right on the front. Because I was, uh, I was, you know, on Fridays, remember I told y'all, Merry Christmas, Diane. Um, no, Derek Lamb. Not the Gwen Stefani, but the uh, Derek Lamb. L-A-M. Ooh, this is nice. Um, they, um, on, on Fridays, I wasn't really, you know, I only teach, I don't do anything. Um, I don't do anything on Fridays right now because that's electives day and I don't teach an elective, right? So the only thing I do is I have like a, 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 a academic lab for 45 minutes which is you know pretty much like okay catch up and everything <laughs> so you know it's like I have meetings until like 9 a.m and then the meetings are done and so then I don't have I don't see kids till about 12 so I dipped out I'm like on this dip shit. You know, I'm like dipping now. I'm like, oh, okay, so I got all this time. So I ran to, you know, but I, I was trying to, cause, because I'm technically supposed to be in my room doing some stuff, right? I should be doing some stuff. But, you know, so I just dipped out a little bit. So I didn't want to be gone too long, you know. You know, I didn't want to be too long because I was technically supposed to be in my room, my classroom, you know, catching up on things. Well, that day I didn't feel like catching up. I felt like going to the store. So I went to the store. That's what I did. So, yeah. And that's and so I came on early today because I figured that, you know, most of you all are going to be busy this evening. So you wouldn't want to do a live. So I figured we would do a Christmas Eve live early. I would show all the stuff that I, you know, bought. I think I did good. I, and my, I, my expend, my, I didn't spend a whole lot. That's the good thing. I really bought a lot of presents, but I didn't spend as much as I could have spent. Cause I'm trying to be, you know, listen, we got to we got to economize and you know figure shit out. Um, and like even with next year, we're gonna talk about. So here's the things we're gonna talk about. I will be doing collections. I gotta pull out these collections. Do y'all really want me to do the eyeshadow collection? Cause I was just gonna film my eyeshadow collection and put it on the other channel. That was it. That was all. Um, but that's going to, I have to roll through it quick. I mean, y'all really want to see my whole eyeshadow collection? Because I'll do it, but I was like, and then I'm going to do um, the perfumes live and then a video. Because the video is going to go, I'm just going to run through them. Here on this side, the live will be us really talking about the, everything I have. So we're gonna so just know we're gonna do two parts the affordable and niche and um the luxury and i mean the affordable and designer and luxury and niche y'all know how i do it so um so um if you so i definitely will do that however y'all need to let me know i'm gonna put a poll up do y'all want me to do this eyeshadow collection lab because i will do one um i'll show it all but it's a lot it's a lot y'all it's a lot uh, yeah, even with me and him getting rid of some things, it's still a lot. Uh, so I have to, you know, because today I have to pull out all the blushes and highlighters and bronzers, and I'm going to film those in a little bit. Once I can find my fucking phone. And I'm really, I just really, 
I, I really, I'm really gonna have to stop keeping my phone on silent. That's the thing I'm gonna have to stop doing. I always put my phone on fucking silent, and then I can't find the motherfucker. I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment, y'all, because I'm like, really, I just really can't find my phone. This is insane. I done looked all over. You know, I done probably walked past it 17 times, because you know that's my number. I've probably walked past it 17 times and just ain't noticed it because I ain't been nowhere so now y'all done heard that have a Merry Christmas see I got all my bags I got all my my uh, wrapping paper I got tape I got bows I am ready to do the damn thing ready to do the damn thing the thing oh let me tell y'all this is the funny thing it's okay we late we finally got the, the tree up correctly right and yesterday it was so cute i forgot how cute it is when with kid with little kids right now of course bakari's not even two so he really doesn't know what's going on i don't think i do i need to i need to get one of those find a phone app features because i i don't know i might have one i don't know i don't know shit like that um and so we turned we were turning we had the lights on and he was like oh ah. he was just like doing all this like what did i that i was like i forgot about how the little kids is so yes Gigi will have a treat next year i said that all to say Gigi will have a treat next year you know because i haven't really these little motherfucking mealy buds i swear to god I'm on like a, oh, so I don't know. Hi, Alicia. Coming in late because I'm about to go in a minute. Oh, look at this vintage green box. I didn't even notice this. Y'all ready for the detail at this level? They got a little green on it. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay. Okay, this is not for me. May let me let me put this in. Um, because, you know, I'm... I'm sure these kind of lean masks, but maybe this is because I, I mean I'll keep them and do the do the Banana Republic uh, collection, and then get rid of them. This isn't bad though. This isn't like necessarily something I want to wear, so I'm probably still gonna give them to them, but they're gonna get them for their birthday. Oh, I gotta put candles in their bag too. They get candles, the fellas. All right, so I didn't do too bad. Everybody's getting good presents. Everybody should be happy. Um, I know what I'm getting, but I'm not getting it yet. Uh, what's my scent of the day? I ain't put on anything yet because I hadn't decided. Because I got, oh, I'm sorry. I did put on something. I did. I put on. A Lover's Tale by Francesca Bianchi to try it. I was trying it out. Oh yeah, this is definitely masculine. Yep, yep, it's definitely masculine. And I can see it smelled good on a man. This is definitely a white t-shirt kind of vibe, you know. Definitely a white t-shirt kind of vibe. But I am... Uh, so before we go, let's just talk. <laughs> Fuck. That's called I threw some shit in the box and leave me alone. That's sad. That's bad. That's bad. That's a bad look. That's a bad look. That's a bad look. So I'm not gonna say who this person is, but let me just tell y'all something. I'm not gonna say who it is, but there is a there is a per a small perfume. First of all, I had an issue with a small perfume, but we're not gonna talk about that. But um uh 
there's a small perfumer, just be aware of this, who um, <laughs> he wants people to buy his sample set. This person wants them to buy their sample set and then they will, and then they want to like, then they want to do a live with you. Basically, basically, I know what it is. I'm going to tell you, Ellie, I'm going to set you. Okay. So this is the deal. There's this perfume, a small perfumer who's trying to get their name out. This person is trying to get their name out. And they are, their, their thing is, <laughs> you know what it is, <laughs> um, they want people to buy their sample sets that, that are on YouTube. And then, um, yeah, they really did because they, I would have been like, bitch, no. Um, and then to go on live and did do a live with them. So basically, <laughs> Well, let me get this straight. I'm paying you to help you promote your business. You got me fucked up. <laughs> I'm going to need, here's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need all small, right? I'm going to need small YouTubers to understand this. Let's, let me just explain some shit to you. And Helen will, Helen will co-sign me this one. When somebody sends you something for free, that's for review. That's up to you. This whole thing where they be talking about they're doing a collaboration with you or something like that, unless there's money changing hands, you owe them nothing but a product review. And you can do that product review whenever the fuck you want to or not do it. But this whole thing, like they're trying to dictate because they give you something for free, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. All you owe them is if is a review. If you choose to review it, like, cause like I said, some this damn people sent me some fucking hair tea talking about, um, we need you to review it in seven days, and we need and giving me uh uh talking points and shit. You got me fucked up. No, you talking points and all that shit is when you, money changes hands. That's called a sponsorship. Not you sending me some shit to try out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And, he, then, and then he took it one step further. And, and he didn't even do the whole, well, let me send it to you. And then we could go, can you do a live with me? So, what you know, we could talk about my fragrances. No, this, this, this one said, pay for your shit. And then let me go live with you. Thank you. Right, it, 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 he could. Right, that's it, you send samples. That's what you do. You send as a as a fragrance person. It don't cost you nothing to send no fucking samples if that's what you want. Especially when you're just getting your name out there and you want people to try you. That's the whole point of doing that. That's why influencers. That's the whole thing with influencer marketing because you're getting you're actually going to give free advertisement. The amount that you pay uh, to send out a product is infinite, infinitely less than if you were trying to actually do traditional advertising. So it only that's why you're supposed to see what you're supposed to do. If you, if you really think you got a good product, put that shit in samples and send it to everybody you can get a hold of and let them talk about it because that's what we're going to do. If you send, especially when you're talking about smaller YouTubers, the bigger ones, they might not get to you because, honey, they, you know, they might not. But if you go, if you're going to do something like that and you're a small person, you bite the bullet because it costs you about $3 to send out fucking samples. Let's just be real. It costs you three fucking dollars. I send out samples all the time. You're talking about the small mailer. $3 and something cents. You go on their shit get their emails, contact them and be like, hey, I'm going to send you some samples to try out. No, no big deal. You know, I just wanted to, you know, get your opinion if you have time. That's what you fucking do. And, the, and that's how you fucking grow. See, that's the... Right. You send the sam two meal samples and call it a day. And because, see, here's the thing. You don't know how these people are going to react. So you really don't want... Because some people are going to come up and tell you they'll shit snake. 
But you got to be ready for the good and the bad. But you're getting your shit, your name out there. And if there's, and if your shit is good, there's gonna be enough people gonna say your shit is good, and then they're gonna help promote you. And that's how you're supposed to do it. But see, the problem is these small businesses are so focused on, oh my God, spending this money. Trust me. If you do, if you do any type of advertisement, if you do Google, if you use IG, if you use Facebook, if you use any of those sources, you're gonna pay more and get less done than if you just sent that shit out to some people. You know, all they had to do is go like if you're a, a perfumer. Let me tell you something. If I created a perfume, if I was trying to do a perfume, I would go through and be watching folks, watching folks, see, okay, let me put them on my list. Let me put them on my list. And as soon as I was ready, I would send everybody out two meal samples. Hi, you know, I love your content. Would love, you know, wanted to send you something. You know, would love to see you send me something. Blah, blah, blah. I would do just that. That's how you market yourself. That's the simplest thing ever. Because we live in a time that you don't have to spend traditional advertising money right? You don't have to spend traditional advertising money. You could do that. And that shit is, that shit is so, is, especially when you're talking about fragrances. Fragrances has the small, it don't even take that much to even send that shit out. $3. Like what Scent Explore sent us, that was a whole lot of fragrances, right? Them things probably cost them $3, maybe $4, tops $5 to send out to a bunch of people per person. Tops, that's how much it pay, they pay to mail them out. The mailing. Now, if this is your company, you're only, you are, it ain't like you're, this is, if you know what you're doing, you, your pricing, you know, you can, you should have the cushion to afford to send out the samples. Make your damn samples and send that shit out. Because what happens is people like me will get them. People like Helen will get them. All of us will get them. And if the shit is good, we gonna we gonna tell your stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be like, oh my lord, this shit is good. Cause we do that on stuff we pay for ourselves. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna pay for some stuff that you want me to and then promote. Hell the fuck no. I wish an, I would I'd have been I'd have sent laughing emojis back for that request. I'd have been like, ah, you crazy no fuck. You crazy no fuck. No, that ain't gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. And 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 we have and and as people out here doing this kind of stuff, you have to understand no matter how small you are, um you have power because if somebody reaches out to you they see they've watched enough to see that people are listening to you whether you're small or not whether you don't get a whole lot of views or not they can look at the conversations you know what i'm saying people they can see what you bring to the table they can see that so therefore right all right have a good one have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. You know, you need to understand that. You have, and and when you're small, it's about getting PR. It's not about, you You might not get paid for stuff, but you damn straight shouldn't be paying for something that you are agreeing to review. You, you don't pay for a product. No, I don't pay you to product review. Now, I product review all the fucking time on my own dime because that's my choice. But once you reach out to me, then you're supposed to provide that shit. And I'm not even, and, and the thing is, and at, and, and at the level that they do it on a perfume thing, all you, like Helen said, all you do is send two meal samples. We ain't talking about like when I get stuff from skincare companies where they're sending me full size products. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing stuff like skin, when you're getting skincare products and things like that, you're usually getting full size products or close to them or close to full size. So therefore, there is that's a different thing altogether. But hell, all you gotta do is put that shit in a two mil sample with a little label on it and keep it moving, and people just as fine with it. 
especially when you just start out. But all these, it seems like, and is it just me? A lot of these smaller perfume people, the ones who are, you know, you know, indie brands, they done lost their motherfucking mind. I, I think they feel like, ooh, it, you know, fragrance is popular, you know, and I'm doing it. And they feel like they doing us a fucking favor. Do you know how much fragrance is out there? Do you know how much fragrance is out there? Do you know how much fragrance is out there? We don't need, so I don't, so to act like, yeah, you know, I'm doing it. Okay. But you doing it in your business and you're and you're a retail, you're a B to C, you're business to consumer, right? So therefore, you guys to understand, you guys to do a little better. Like homeboy the elemental guy with his little attitude and shit. All these attitudes that these small companies get. You know, you are you are you a bad review away from motherfuckers not fucking with you. You are you are a bad you are a bad review away a bad taste in the mouth away for people not fucking with you, for real for real because the 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 way business works is you do good service one a person will tell one or two people you give bad service they get they tell fifteen. That's the that's the rule of that's the rule of business and think about now that was in regular business. That was before the internet. Think about the exponential rates of how that works now. Think about the exponential rate that's involved now. Because I can sit here and talk to you all and, that's, and say something about somebody. And right now, I might speak to like, you know, right now it says 17 people. So 17 people have heard me say that. And then you take that and then once I end this, other people will watch and then they would hear about it and then those people and then it, and it grows exponentially so you're so depending on who you piss off that's what that that could fuck your shit up on a on a major level on your level because you're not tom ford who can take the motherfucking heat you're not Gerlan. you're not lancome you are this one little person trying to run a business and those words will affect you deeply um and for no reason you know on some bullshit that, that could have been avoided because you just had to be halfway decent to people so the people that he approaches I'm going to need y'all to laugh at this shit. Because that's the stupid shit right there. So, let me go try to find these keys. I mean, my phone. <gasps> Ow! That was my hiccup shit. <laughs> y'all. Let me go find these keys. My phone. So I can make it out the house right quick. It was good seeing y'all. I will probably tell, I will probably go live tomorrow, hang out later on on Christmas Christmas night. I don't have any real plans for what we're gonna do on Christmas night, um, but we'll do something. You know, hang out, talk about gifts, talk shit. Next day we'll have Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us. We're going to air out some grievances on Saturday night. Snarky Saturday <laughs> will be about that. Y'all have a great day. Have a beautiful night. Talk to you later.